feels very honoured after being appointed to the Queen's Order of Merit. It's an exclusive group with only a small number of people ever invited to join. And it's prompted calls for our own knighthoods. When invited to enter one of the Queen's most exclusive clubs, John Howard didn't hesitate. Well, I said, I said yes. <laughs> Her Majesty hand-picked him to join the Order of Merit, which is limited to just 24 living members. I am quite touched by it, and it did come out of the blue. He's the first politician among nine Australians to have been on the list, replacing Dame Joan Sutherland, who died in 2010. Things like this would not have come one's way but for the extraordinary privilege of having been Prime Minister of the best country in the world. Prime Ministers of Britain have been on the list too, including Winston Churchill. I certainly don't put myself in Winston Churchill's class. He was a, a standout. Mr Howard's rare honour also earned him rare praise. Prime Minister Gillard released a statement saying while Australians have mixed views about his record, he rightly commands respect for his contribution to the country. Monica say it's more reason for knighthoods to be reinstated to our honour system. Nobody knows what a, a, the equivalent of an AM or AC is. Mr Howard will receive his honour later this year, but the celebrations are on hold. Uh, well, we have had that, but um, life goes on and there's uh, some cricket to see tomorrow. He's got the team colours on already. Alex Hart, 7 News.